it's the right ambience. Take out the serviette, or napkin, as my wife is insisting on they're called these days, and we're where we should be. Our next guest, Language of Love, has been compared to a modern-day Shakespeare. Aside from being Maitre D of the television series First Dates, Fred Serix, is that right? That's right. Good. Uh, has become the nation's favourite love guru. And the show returns to our screens this Friday. He's uh, come along to our very own GMB restaurant this morning <laughs> to give us some tips on dating and romance. Very good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Very well, friend. Well, I Let suppose one of the tips for a first date might it, it is not that you would have three people here, but you do go round to all the <laughs> tables, don't you? And sort of, do you, enc you encourage people along? Well, I think that people come to the first date restaurant, so it's all set up. So, you know, it's all about your mind. And so when they come to the first date restaurant, they are coming in to find love, and that's what they want to find. So um, you don't need to really to encourage them so much. You just have provided this amazing environment for them, you know. So it's just for the take. It's just for, their, for them. You've worked in the restaurant it. industry for years, haven't you? You're a maitre d' and involved with a sort of a, a very well-known restaurant in town. Mm -hmm. um, so you have experience with this. Can you tell, Fred, when you see a couple sit down, yeah. can you tell quite quickly whether they're going to hit it off or not? Oh, straight away, yeah. Can you? I mean, we had, for example, Joe and Noemi, the two girls who come in, and when uh, Joe come in first, you know, you could see that, you know, the energy and the kind of girl that she was, and as soon as Noemi come in, you know, I, I knew that it was going to work and that they were going to eat it off. It just was so obvious. The chemistry was there. It was just right. And as soon as they set eyes for each other, it was just like, yes, please. And well, can you see it sparkle and you can see it sparkle? Oh, it was just unbelievable. It was just poof, you know? It starts as a TV programme, and it, it's, it's an experiment, really, isn't it? An observational experiment to watch people interact. But actually, it is bringing people together and, and people... Well, the thing it. about First Date is that it is actually a TV programme. That's what it is. Yeah. But it is real, it is genuine, it is true. Yeah. And people genuinely want to find love, and they want to come on the first date, and they want to find love. They want to find something that they can believe in. And, um, you know, it'd be great to have you on. <gasps> Next year. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, the next sort of hopefuls, I'd though, like are gearing too. up. To the waiters, though, they play an important part, don't they, yes. in, in the show as well. I think we've got a waiter here. Uh, <laughs> don't normally respond to a click. But, oh, yes, um, you do. I do, I do. Yes, you know me so well. This is going to be hugely baffling for all my staff at home to see me waiting on a table. But there you go. Um, Enchanté. Enchanté, very yes. good. Oh. Bienvenue à GMB, huh? Merci. Oui. <laughs> what are your top tips for uh, first dates? It helps if you talk like that. <laughs> or even in a cod French accent. Um, my top tip is... Only leave with the waiter as a last resort. Because <laughs> um, it's a mistake you only make once. No, seriously, I think a lot of people think with a first date is it's like an audition, and so you try, like I am now, to fill a lot of dead air very, very quickly, and then you find out so little about the person that you're opposite. And remember, it isn't an audition. You can turn them down as well. You don't need to be that needy. I don't know why I'm, I'm looking directly at you. I'm okay. <laughs> We've had lots of people on Twitter asking if you'd go on a first date with them, but, of course, you have a partner, don't you? That's right, yeah. So uh, what's your tip What was your great yeah. first date? What was yours like? Like. Well, I think that, you know, Jean-Paul Sartre was saying you must act out the passion before you can feel it. So if you go on a date and you don't feel the passion before you go on a date, if you don't want to find love, genuinely find love, and you're not sure about what you want, you know, then it's going to be difficult. So I think it's important to go back to yourself and know exactly what you want, first of all, for yourself and out of life, and what you want from that person that you're going to be meeting. And then just give love a chance, because, you know, people come for so many different expectations, you know, and, and, you know, we're talking about boxing just now. You've got a box clear. You've got to think about who is in front of you and you've got to be able to listen and observe the people mm. that you are with. And then you just have to just go with the flow. Mm. Jean-Paul Sartre, that's the first time we've had existentialism I'm, I'm, on GMB. <laughs> Brilliant. About that. You've got to I feel, act out the passion before you feel the passion. Yeah. That's it's my really important. Life now, Richard. Marry for money and the love will come later. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> yes, thank you Hello. very much. Fred, thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. Fantastic to see you and good luck Looking with the series. Looking forward to the new series, which starts on Friday yeah. the 15th. Yeah. Friday the 15th, and uh, we'll see you on the next celebrity episode. Can there I just go. point out, there is enough love in my life. <laughs>